Hello, everyone, and welcome back to This Week in ESO, Episode 8. I'm your host, Rob, from MMORPG.com. Well, it's finally here. In less than 48 hours, those of you that have pre-ordered the game should be in and playing it. I, for one, have been holding off on playing the game on the PTS for the past few weeks in anticipation of this moment. Even with all the bumps and bruises that go along with it, the first few weeks of the launch of an MMO are always the most exciting and fun. The possibilities seem limitless. I kind of run around with that sense of amazement and wonder. It's almost childlike, really. It's only when you start to run into barriers later on in the games that you start to grow up a little bit and become jaded. Now on to the news. The release client is available to patch. Earlier today, Bethesda announced on their official blog that you could, in fact, update the client and it's release ready. So I would recommend that you go ahead and do it now. It's a um, it's a pretty hefty patch. I'd imagine that they finally have replaced that placeholder image and also, Bethesda took to Reddit to let everybody know that they've recently changed their policy on changing your user ID and your email address. They've published two new knowledge base articles on their official blog with the details on how. This is a great change, but it's too late for someone like me. I already had to create a second account. Remember earlier in a previous video how I said all those 5 million registered beta accounts weren't legit? I know at least three of them were for me. And let me tell you, I get a lot of spam from Bethesda saying, can you please fill out this survey? and not with the 100 question survey you have. In other news, people are already starting to receive their Imperial Collector's Edition in the mail. I know that Amazon recently updated my shipping saying that originally I was going to receive the game four days after release. Now I've been upgraded for free to actually get release day delivery. Hopefully I'll get it even sooner than that. Also, our very own Christina Gonzalez on MMORPG.com recently wrote an article titled my in-game is not your in-game. In it, Christina talks about how she feels Elder Scrolls Online in-game plays out and what it means to her and how that differs from what it means in other games and what it means to you. And as timely as that article may seem, Zenimax released on their official blog a rundown of ESO's veteran content. Veteran content in ESO will consist of solo or duo PvP, small group PvP, large group PvP. All of those will take place in Cyrodiil. Also, it will consist of solo or duo, which breaks down to veteran ranked zones, four person group PvE, which will be the dungeons, and then Craglorn, their adventure zone. And they finally gave a little bit more information on Craglorn that we didn't have previous to that, especially when it refers to trials. Trials are listed as a 12-person group PvE. The official description on the blog is 12 people fighting through an increasingly difficult experience. A trial is instanced to your group of 12. There is a staging area where you can plan your attack in the trial itself. In a trial, you will have a limited number of resurrections known as Soul Reservoir. Too many resurrections mean that you have failed the trial. It takes a lot of coordination to survive a trial. The enemies you face in a trial will be difficult, while the surroundings are some of the most beautiful places in ESO. Provided you do survive and make it to the end of a trial, your group might make it to the leaderboard. Trials have a running clock, and mistakes including deaths can add a time penalty. Turn in a great time, however, and you might make it to the top of the leaderboard. If you fail, your group can restart and try again. I'm very interested to see what kind of perks are involved with making it onto the leaderboard and staying at the top, other than just bragging rights. That's it for this week, folks. I expect next week's episode will be a little bit meatier, and I'll fill it with some early impressions. This time, it'll be of the Ebonheart Pack Zones. That's right. Feel free to say hi in game. You can find me on the same name you can find me on, on Twitter, at Graculin, G-R-A-K-U-L-E-N. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Tamriel.